guys, here we are. Intro again, hopefully. We get it right this time. Anyways, I'm uploading a bi-weekly video of the part two series that I didn't get to upload in the last week's video. I'm gonna tell you guys this here first. The shop is dark. Just bear warning you guys, it's all just my phone flashlight. So anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later. I'm going around making sure everything is measured correctly. I have these measurements a little bit above 36 inches. This here is what we call stitch welding. Stitch welding helps things from prevent warping and it also helps the balance between two things being put together. For instance, this. We're gonna let that cool down for a little while because it's still a little bit on the hot side. So we have this here. I'm keeping the jack stand here. That way we don't fuck up our measurements and stuff like that. I'm gonna keep it up. I'm going to show you guys what, it at, what it's at. We have it about half an inch, which is great. The back, it needs to be up about an inch, which is fucking fantastic. It's just about an inch. Okay. And then the after, 36, about half an inch up on 36. And then we got about a half inch, a little bit more than half an inch on there. Now we're just going to wait until these cool down just a little bit more time. Take your time. Don't force it. Otherwise, it's not going to look pretty. The bubble is right where we need it to be. After it's cooled down, I'm going in with more stitch welding, but on opposite directions. So you don't see your shit. I'm talking about paint and all. I'm not talking about a wire brush. I'm talking about actually cleaning your metal. If you don't clean it, it's not gonna look pretty and it's not gonna be pretty. This right here, this shit's gotta go. Cause if you end up putting your level on this shit right here, it's gonna fuck up your shit. So we're gonna clean that up real quick. This is right where we want it to be. See, just like that. Nice, straight, letting these Fuckers cool. They're almost cool to the touch. So the next one will be on the inside and then we're going to come back on the outside and then weld the ends. The metal is going to be a little bit on the crucial side. So I'm probably going to start it in the front, keep the back up, go to the end and then go in the middle and then go up in the front right here, up in the top, weld that piece, go on the bottom, do that and do the same shit on the other side. That way it keeps it up at 36 and i just gotta i just gotta watch my measurements keep this in mind I'm not gonna let the jacks down until i actually weld um until i actually weld the top of this right here all the way and probably the back side as well here's an inch up and then the front of it i'm just letting it do its thing letting it stay heated um letting it cool because I don't want it warped. And then, yeah. Keep in mind too that I'm molding with the 140 weld pack Lincoln welder, but I'm still keeping my options open for heat because warping can still happen even with the littlest amount of heat like We're this. I've never built structural stuff now, but I have almost come to the um, area of it, but you had to have some certifications and qualifications and I was not qualified for it. I was basically the shop bitch. And um, I have worked my way up a lot. Sorry, my nose itched. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on the other side. I'm gonna weld the exact same spots. That way, the back end does not go lower. If I end up, this side here, if I end up keeping it up on the jack stand right here, um, this whole thing will stay afloat. And then when you do these here, the front pieces, Instead of it being like this here, like up, it'll go down and it'll match your fucking shit. As for this corner over here, I'm going to do the exact same shit. Whatever you do on the first side, you do on the second side. Hold it up this corner right here. You guys can see it was right here and it was right here. This fucking thing I've had for six years. Now, this cannot weld. I, I'm pushing her. <laughs> Let's just say I'm pushing her. Okay, but I'm giving her breaks at the same time because she's not used to this thick and level. It's a welder, but the more that you treat your machines with fucking decency, the 
to last longer so guys i think this here is like the only downside that work that is here at the shop the one you have to drive 10 minutes just to fucking go eat or there's no fucking bathroom in this thing so if you are to work in a shop like this you're gonna have to be very good Y'all are just gonna have to stick with me on this. My other tripod is up in Fresno right now. So anyways, I'm pouring my truck right now. And uh, I'm gonna show you some blueprints, if I can find them. Yeah, they're right here. I'm gonna list them up here on the screen so you guys can see it. So this is what we have. This here is the blueprint of the trailer. And, um, yeah, I fucking found them. Equalizers, axles on the trailer already. These here are going to be triple eight lug. Big ass C channels, they're going to be three feet. They're going to go on the inside of the frame. I got a weld on the rest of the diamond on tomorrow, which will be done by tomorrow. On the sides, make sure they're all seven inches and make sure all those are straight. These are the ribs right here. You guys can see it right there. Okay. These are what my what the job end tells me to do. Um, without any wood platform on the trailer yet. This is what we're supposed to be doing also on the trailer. And then um, like this little lip that I described in all my platforms. And then um, the axles right here, or no, right here. And then the ribs all going down. So there's not going to be any more dovetail on this. Here's a diagram of the axles that I'm supposed to be putting together. It's pretty much, it's just pretty fucking easy. It's just a bunch of geometry shit. So that's all that entails. We got an Amazon package of wood. Get it? Wood. <laughs> okay, that was dumb. Got the other side pretty much grinded with a hard disk. Hard disk. I should have some ear shit in my ears to block the noise out, but I don't have any. The C channel. Oh, good lord. I need to let this machine cool down anyways, my grinder, because it's fucked. It's about to be fucked. But basically, what we're gonna do, he wrote down seven inches right here. He wants to put diamonds on the outside or on the inside, 10 inches, 10 and a half inches across. Put it on the inside after I get done grinding it weld it on very very like stitch weld what's gonna happen next is all these ribs are gonna get welded in this right here this inner part right here has to get welded this inner part right here has to get welded as well Running up generated today. Power's out. But you know what? That's not gonna stop me from fucking loading. Got my sweater on, the tick burn on my face and neck because of my stupid ass. And now I'm welding most of these diamonds on today, which you can't even see. But at the end of this video here, you guys will be able to see I end up putting out videos no matter what the fuck I end up working, no matter what the fuck I do. Even if it's in a dark confined space like this, no electricity, I'm running off a generator. And uh, we're gonna get this, we're gonna get this done because it's long overdue. I don't know how you guys are going to fucking see this shit, but um, I don't, I actually, you know what, I have a flash on the end. You and me go fishing in the dark.
Never mind. It hit the uh, duty cycle. Let's just see these. Um, let's just see these welds. These two are right now. These two are right now. I'll clean them up. Mind you, this is all in the dark. These are in the dark. That's in the dark. That's in the dark. A little splatter. That's all I can mold for now. She hit duty cycle. Coming in hot. Oh, good lord. Goodness gracious. Hiya. Hi. Hi. I'm fucking weird. Oh, you guys that follow me? in a dark space right now and the electricity here went out where I work and this here obviously isn't my shop so I'm having to run off of a Predator 3500 generator so I mean whatever gets the job done gets the job done and I'm, I'm all here for it continue on with the gooseneck trailer um, I got the diamond plates in can't really show you guys the um, the whole thing because it's in the dark. But I have diamonds in, I'll show images and stuff, whatever I can. Um, and then I put these huge C channels in here and um, I didn't mark out, I didn't mark out the center points, but I should have, but you know, when you're hungry, you're just fucking doing whatever. All right, so the C channels here, they're three feet long. They're going all the way across and they're holding the whole frame together. There's two diamonds right here. You can actually see where the welds are on the outside. Um, so yeah, there's all that. You guys can kind of see that in the glare. But today what I'm gonna be working on is cutting these here up. Now these here are 74 and 7 8, both of these. And where these are gonna go, is right in here because obviously I can't put it right here because there's already one right here. These are what we call ribs, all right here. What the wood's gonna lay on. So across from the inside of this C channel to this one here is 74 and 7 8. I'm gonna cut two of them, and I had to take all of these here off, or at least most of them, 
and um, because they were like an eighth shorter than seven inches. So I had to go back and take most of them off. I had to cut some of these ribs here that go on the side. I didn't realize what it looked like just now, but whatever. Okay, so I ended up cutting 20 more of these, which are gonna go on the side. Two more ribs and they're gonna be shorter than 81 and a quarter. And there's still no power because I'm having to drag this one back to town over here. I'm fucking loud. And now I'm having to go and get the rest of this material. So, go ahead and stay along with me on this fucking journey of carrying material back all the way over here because there's no power. I feel like it work in a mine. channels here get all them everybody in this shopping complex oh my god <laughs> is uh, working off of a generator or they're just simply not here so I don't give a fuck where the camera I don't care where the camera leads right now Oh, right there. You guys can't even see that. I don't know why I'm just shouting that. But this here is the everyday, well, for now, behind my tree. And what I'm doing, I'm building a gooseneck in the dark. In the dark. And if you guys want to see the behind the scenes, this here is what happens. Around for the rest of this bullshit that I need to weld and I need to cover. Stay tuned. Okay, so next thing is next. Um, what I'm gonna be working on are these things. Now, these things here are gonna go in the middle, they're gonna go 16 inches apart, which means I need to go get my measuring tape and all this good shit. I'm gonna tell you guys one thing right the fuck now. So uh you say that you are perfect. Just know, as a fabricator, this damn gooseneck trailer, I fucked up. I will admit it. Do you see this right here? I double checked my work twice and then I still cut it wrong. Okay, let me show you. This here is supposed to be 76 inches long. This whole thing, right? I ended up cutting it at 74 and the bitch goes from right here all the way to the end right here. It doesn't stay on the lip, which it's supposed to. I ended up cutting it two inches too short. I got approval to attach the pieces back on and add a stable piece in the back. That is what my approval is. Nobody is perfect. And if you say that, you do not make mistakes. You don't check your measurements twice and you still fuck up, you're still doing something wrong, right? This just goes to tell you I'm not perfect. And if you say that you are, and that you know what you're doing, of course I know what I'm doing. But sometimes people make mistakes. Stay tuned for part three.